What is up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna set up this mini PC to be my new Plex server slash file server slash personal video recorder of TV shows. Now, I do have a PC with Plex installed on it running, but I don't keep that on all the time. This mini PC will be running 24 seven. So I picked this up last year on eBay for about $70. Uh, I actually ordered a model with an i3, but the seller sent me the i5. Uh, this is an HP Elite Desk G3. It has an i5 7500T and came with 8 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive. So the only thing I'm going to do really to this PC is remove the hard drive because 500 gigs just isn't gonna be enough for this project. Uh, I went out and got a two terabyte NVMe hard drive. Uh, this will get me started and then my hope is down the line, pick up a four terabyte, uh, two and a half inch SSD to add into it. Um, SSD prices are going down quite a bit, which is a good thing. So if I do that, that'll give me a total of six terabytes. So in order to install the NVMe drive, I need to remove the tray for the two and a half inch drive. Uh, I'm gonna have to re remove some screws to do this. Unfortunately, HP did not make it easily accessible. Sometimes when you purchase an NVMe drive, it doesn't come with the tiny screw, so make sure you have some extra. Uh, luckily, this one did come with the screw, so I was good to go. So for this project, I am going to be using Windows. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will think I should use TrueNAS or a Linux uh, server, but to be honest, I've never used either before. Uh, I'm just very comfortable using Windows. Um, I may try TrueNAS in the future, but for now, I'm going to be sticking with Windows uh, for this project. Before I get started uh, installing Plex, I'm going to create some folders for my media library. Uh, one folder will be for movies, and one will be for TV shows. So setting up Plex is pretty straightforward. Just go to Plex.tv. You want to go to the download section, and you're going to download the media server. Uh, after downloading it, double-click it, and follow the steps on the screen to install it. So Plex Pass is totally optional. You do not have to get it. So I'm just going to X this out. Uh, then I'm going to rename the uh, media server. I'm just going to name it uh, the PC that I am using for it. And now at this point, it's going to ask you how you want to set up your library or where, um, you know, your media is pointed to. So I don't want music. So I'm just going to click that X that off. I'm not going to use this for music, so I don't need it. So I'm going to hit add library. I'm going to go to movies and then I'm going to hit next. I'm going to uh, choose the folder where my movies are. So I'm just going to scroll down here and find my movies folder there it is hit add and then I'm gonna do the same thing for my TV first I'm gonna yeah, delete photo photos I don't need that and then I'm gonna do the same thing for TV all right now at this point your server will be set up so I added a couple of movies to my folders and a couple of episodes of a TV show as well, 
just to test it out and it works really well. I tried streaming to my phone and it worked great. Uh, and I tried streaming a movie to my uh, TV, to my Roku, no problem. Uh, I'm only streaming in 1080p, I'm not in 4K mostly, so um, two streams, no problems. So it works really well so far. Okay, so now that I have my Plex server up and running, I am going to try to set up Sonar as well. Uh, I messed around with Sonar uh, years ago on an older PC, but that died on me. Um, and then I never tried it out again. Um, so what is Sonar? Sonar is a personal video recorder for Usenet and Torrents. I like to use Torrents. It's just what I'm used to. Uh, but you could use whatever you like. So what you're going to do is you're basically going to tell Sonar which TV shows you're interested in. And Sonar will automatically download them. Uh, then I'll be able to watch whatever TV shows I have set up on my Plex server. Now I am going to be running a VT VPN, VPN on this mini PC. And I would recommend you do that as well if you plan on doing this. So you can see I just downloaded Sonar uh, from its website and installed it. This isn't meant to be a full tutorial, but I'll just show a little bit of how I have it set up. Uh, I got nothing fancy or anything too complicated going on in my settings for this. So I just went into settings on the left hand side here. Um, I'm going to go to media management. And what I'm going to do is uh, check off rename episodes or click it on that is. So Sonar will rename the episodes. And that's all I'm going to do on this section. And it will ask you if you want to make sure you want to save the save changes. So you want to go up to uh, the top and hit uh, save changes. And then I'm going to move on to uh, profiles. And here you're going to set up how you know the quality of the video you're going to download. So I usually set it up for uh, 720p or uh, 1080p. And then for uh, quality, you can set a limit on the file size of your downloads. So, you know, there's a video file that's 20 gigs. You don't want it to be that big. You just only want to download a smaller size video file. Uh, you could set that up here with these sliders. It's pretty easy. Okay, then you're going to click on indexers here. And then this is where Sonar is going to search for my torrents. This is a, um, you know, a website that basically searches for torrents. Um, it's also called a tracker. Um, I'm going to set this one up, only one, for now. You could do multiple, but for right now, I'm going to try only one. Um, and that's R-A-R-B-G. Um, so I'm going to try this one out and set only one up for now. And now you're going to see that indexer has been added. Okay, now I'm going to have to add a download client. Uh, I'm going to use Qubit Torrent for this. And the next step will be to add TV series that you are interested in. So you're going to click series on the top left and then add new series. And then you're going to hit in the search bar here. You're going to type in the shows you are interested in. So I'm going to choose one now. And then once you click on the show, you have some options. So I'm going to choose monitor and I'm going to choose uh, future episodes because I only want uh, 
this to download uh, episodes that are upcoming and you could change the quality as well and under root folder you can point to where you want the shows to be downloaded uh, I'm gonna select a folder to where my Plex server is looking at so after that I'm gonna just click on the green button and after that you're done so I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of more TV shows okay so I added a few more shows and as you can see you can view it like a calendar view to see when shows will be airing which is pretty cool so now I'm just gonna wait a day or two and see if this little automated media server uh, with Plex and Sonar works out so it's been a few days since having this mini PC as my Plex server set up with Sonar and as a file server as well and I couldn't be happier with this setup uh, Plex server is running smoothly. I haven't had any issues with the shows that Sonar is downloading for me. Um, this was a fun project to set up. I do plan on getting a four terabyte, uh, two and a half inch SSD in the future to expand the storage on the server. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, or let me know if you have a similar setup like this and what equipment you are using. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.